I mean, we uh, we we didn't. Oh, th thank you, Shell, for disabling the sub only and e emote only mode because apparently the bot wasn't doing its job. <laughs> okay, well, we are. Oh, we're going to a different place. Oops. <laughs> I was going to say, this is definitely not going to be Tim Bioji. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's are you fine. sure? Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm committing to this new timeline. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kermit. Arrow, Kermit, Deep Frog Gear. Oh, hey, Sigma. That that is that is like weirdly like close and very far at the same time. Uh, so that's, that's unsettling. Goal. That's my goal. It's like Uncanny Valley, but voice. Yeah. If you got Uncanny Valley, but voice, comment down below. Don't forget. To... No, it's a little too early in the clip. Well, you already wasted half of it, so... I'll say the other half uh, when it's appropriate for me to say the entire <laughs> thing, and then in post, you can cut that part and put it together with the other part. Sure. You have a lot of faith in my editing. <laughs> Anyways, this is you. This is a lot of you. Oh, did I not read it? Oh, did you? I thought I did. As Kermit the Frog. Oh. Can I get you a sweet, sweetie bag? That's my, uh, that's my... Emotions. You're just, you're just committed to ruining these moments. Uh, Are you some kind of waitress? <laughs> hey there, Miss Mango. Um, <clears throat> what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I just came here to check up on you guys. Oh, is that supposed to be more like, what do you want? So, this is the lounge, huh? Probably. And, and yeah, yeah, Mango, the characters look cool. A bar, a sofa, and three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. And I voice all three of them. Can I get you a drink? You better not be underage. <laughs> I turned 21 just the other day. I see. Well, I guess we could probably have a drink or two, then. Unfortunately, as much fun as that sounds like, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? This isn't really a good time to be getting wasted. Not really? It seems like this sort of thing is exactly what makes people want to drink in the first place. Hmm. You've got a point. Sigma! I'm just kidding. Besides, I've got a headache. Drinking is probably not the best plan. It hasn't gone away yet. Well, it was fine for a while, but now I guess the bastard's back. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm sure if I just leave it alone, it'll go away in a bit. That's how it went before, anyway. Has this been happening to anyone else? What? The headaches? Uh-huh. And now that you mention it, yeah, I, I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. What about you, Luna? I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. <laughs> Not me. No headaches here. Well... Well what? It's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. <coughs> Your head feels weird? No. My body feels weird. Is that Luna voice sustainable for you? Is I, that I think it, I think it's slightly higher than you usually have done for her, so I just want to make sure you're not going to kill um, your voice. I mean, is it, if it's good, it's the price of acting. That's up to you, bud. <laughs> On a scale of four to five. 
Is it be <laughs> How much better is it than my other Luna voice? Uh, Mango said inheritance is pushing the envelope. <laughs> Wait, sorry, envelope. Envelope, don't forget. Yeah, and we're also we're in the lungi. <laughs> Mango said one. for the craft. For the craft. For the craft. I am an artiste. Oh, Clover? I haven't even gotten to my noir. Oh, <clears throat> like my whole body. Do you feel kind of numb? I think I got the same feeling. No, I can see you fine. It's kind of like, um, like when you fall asleep on top of one of your arms, and then when you wake up, that arm kind of feels like it's not really yours anymore. It's not just my arm, my arm though. My whole body feels kind of numb and foreign. <laughs> did you, uh, did you get the joke? What? Uh, I don't uh, think so. Sigma asked Clover if she's numb, and she, Clover's like, no, I can see you fine. Because he he's become so numb that he can't see me there. Oh. He's become so tough. Okay. <laughs> it was a good joke. <clears throat> um, um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that, but... Oh, if that's what you're talking about, then yeah. I know what you mean. Really? It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating like that. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I realized after watching my, uh, boyfriend slash partner slash future fiance, uh, outcry. Yeah. I was watching them do the Duolingo last night. Yeah. And it dawned on me that a lot of the voices that I, these characters are like the archetypes for the Duolingo characters. Like Phi is like the, the, the moody goth. <laughs> uh, and I just like, wait, picture du them Duolingo head. has a moody goth. They do. Yeah. I need Duolingo to download Duolingo. <laughs> Duolingo is great. They have a, I mean, not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. Um, my voice, my opinions are my own and don't get this app unless you really want to. But yeah, um, now they have, and I think pretty much m most of the major languages, they have like a conglomerate of individuals from different like age, race, and backgrounds. Yeah. That, um, will read you like robotically, like Hatsune Miku. They'll read, they'll read to you in specific like tones and moods. And then when you get it right, they'll like emote as the character would. So yeah, so there's like an emo, uh, emo girl who's always like, whatever. Me bicicleta está en la tienda. You know, like it's like she'll say she likes say it real moody, and it is so funny uh, that I always have to say uh, the thing that she says. And then there's like a little boy. We're getting off track. Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to spoil all of Duolingo for everybody. Yeah, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert for Duolingo. Um, <laughs> I apologize, and I'm sure that the App Store will give you a refund if you request one. Uh, for the app itself, not any in-app purchases. <clears throat> maybe, maybe it's because of the anesthetic gas. The what now? It might have looked like white smoke. The stuff they use when they abducted you. Oh yeah, right. Or maybe everybody has Radical 6! Spoilers for this game. It seems we were unconscious for a long time. So it must have been pretty powerful stuff. You think this might be some kind of side effect? Well, it could be a side effect, or it could be that it just hasn't completely worn off yet. Hmm. Whatever. That's not important. 
right now. We need to figure out how to get out of here. All right, I go have a look somewhere else then. You guys going to stick around here? Yeah. I haven't really taken a good look at everything yet. Okay. Catch you later then. I wave goodbye, headed toward the exit. Where to next? Now where? <laughs> the crew quarters. <laughs> We're leaving uh. the part that we missed for last for the bit. M Mango said, "Hola, cómo estás?" Oh, <laughs> muy muy bien, señora Mango. I don't know if you know this. Don't dox me, but I am a uh, Spanish college professor. Yeah, inheritance is from Spain. I am from one of the many countries of Spain. <laughs> oh, Sigma! Perfect actually, timing. Wait, wait, wait. There's a better. There's a better. There's a better joke for the bit. Um, I'm actually from Paldea. Which which part? North, south, east, west, or the swirling vortex in the center that represents the heart of Spain? <laughs> the swirling vortex in the center. No, um, in the west because the. Oh, well, we're the joking, Spain Mango. He's it, it, not from Espana. <laughs> I'm I'm from Espada, which is sword. Uh, am I from Galar? Oh, I, I done goofed. Perfect timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Vi, Alice, and I went through all the rooms. Did you find anything suspicious? Like a secret door or something? If I had, you really think I wouldn't have told you? Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. What's this book? Huh? Well, that's a book of meow cats. No, a meow. A meow? Oh, sorry. It's just this thing that's happened to me ever since I was a kid. This entire bit is only from this timeline, and then just like they reference it in the other timelines as like, oh, oh, it's. Crippled. I mean, it's any time there's cats. They're just it, the cats weren't talked about much in other timelines. <laughs> yeah, literally, my crippling tick. And you don't even know what the tick is until you play this specific timeline. <laughs> Whenever I start talking about cats, I start talking like one. Doesn't really mean anything though. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What's the cat book about? Oh, uh. Well, there's this quantum physics thought experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. This book talks me out it. Oh yes, I've heard about that. Oh, have fun, Mango. Hope you enjoy the direct. A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chance to release a poison which will kill the cat. That means the cat is both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Something like that, right? Meowby? What? I don't really know any meow to, anything meow it. I'm just telling you what Fi told me. So it probably isn't going to give us any hints then. Quark. You're doing good too. Oops. Hehe. <laughs> Imagine if it was contagious. If just talking to a person who did this, and then you get stuck doing it for the rest of your life. I mean, that would be a fun side effect of Radical Six. <laughs> you make cat puns whenever talking about cats for the rest of eternity. Yeah. That sounds like how a villain gets their origin story to wipe out all cats. <laughs> they just can't take yeah. the puns anymore. <laughs> well, what about you guys? What do you mean? You checked out the lounge with Clover and Tenmyoji and Quark was in the infirmary with Dio and Luna. Anything suspicious there? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, but... I suppose that's not what you meant. Well, the puzzles in the lounge were Lunar Eclipse themed. Lunar Eclipse? Yes. 
Apparently, there's supposed to be a lunar eclipse on December 31st, 2028. All the puzzles are related to that somehow. Isn't that this New Year's Eve? I suppose it is. Well, I can't say I know what year or even what day it is, but... Clover was saying something to that effect. The 31st, huh? I've been knocked out at dawn on the 25th, so the 31st be six days after that. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse. What did it have to do with any of this? Try as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions. What about the infirmary, Quark? Did you find anything there? Yeah, we did find something. Just one thing, though. What was it? Dio and Luna didn't tell you? No. Okay. I've got it right here. Just a second. Quark reached into his pocket and pulled out what appeared to be a newspaper clipping. My throat began to tighten as I read it. Radical 6 infection spreads, cure continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. Also, that's a really ugly font. <laughs> <laughs> the WHO has confirmed the death tolls estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Is that for real? Seems like a little hard to believe. If it really is some kind of pandemic though, that sounds like a pretty big deal. Yes, it does. There hasn't been anything on the news though. This is the first time I've ever heard the term Radical Six. Was that true though? Was that really the first time I'd heard it? I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd heard Radical Six somewhere before. But where? And why? If it is true, then I worry about what might ha be happening to the world outside. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Well, I don't think there's any reason for us to get all worried about it. We should just hurry up and try to get out of here quick. Try to get out of here. Quark has a point. If we want to know what's going on outside, the fastest way is to find out is by going outside. Yeah, you're right. Good. Mr. K and I will keep searching the cabins then. What are you going to do? I guess I'll go somewhere else. Okay. Then we will see you later. Later. I stepped out of the cabin we've been in and headed toward the small hallway. Now, where to next? There's only one other place I hadn't gone. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I accidentally clicked it quickly. <laughs> Oh, Shady, uh, let me know if you get are going to decide on getting it day one, because I definitely want to play it with you. I'm getting it day one. What are you talking about? Squid Game 3. Squid Game 3. Now with three team Splatfests. And now instead of a duet, they have a trio of hosts. And one, one's a, one's a Stingray. Three people, free for three teams, free for all now. Uh, no, they d they haven't revealed how the base game is gonna work. But the sp first Splatfest is one of those test fires. It's coming in a couple weeks, and there's three teams. It, you'll do four four v four matches. You'll be paired up against some random other team every, each time. And for the first half, the second half then will be four v two v two, with the four player team being the one that was in the lead, now being kind of ganged up on by the other two teams. So, yeah, that in interesting to you, JD? Yeah, we'll see. Let me know. So, this is the infirmary, huh? <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, two things. One, um, Squid Game. One and two give me incredible motion sickness. Yeah, I don't, I know you're not gonna. So, it. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I'm just telling the audience uh, if, if they're interested whether I was gonna get Squid Games or not. I love the premise. I love the style. I can't play it. Makes me want to hurl. Yeah, you, you do uh, seem to like the characters and like the. Yeah, like I listen music. to their music unironically. 
Like, I like the art, unironically. Krusty Sean is such a fun pun. That's the only person that I know with yeah, no, a fun name. Shady, I think it's really because of how quickly the camera whips around. Shady said he thought it was only the first-person games. Yeah. The camera does whip around very quickly. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Sigma. Alice. I gotta continue the bit. They don't even know about the bit. <laughs> well, what's up with your face? It looks like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? Of course. That was bad. That's la that last I'm, part was angry. I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. I didn't start the bit into much later in her dialogue. Yeah, when it started being like detective talking. Yeah. And that's enough, so, it's, that's enough to justify <laughs> screwing someone else over. This is from the other timeline, the muted timeline. Yeah, this is what you guys timeline, missed. <laughs> you missed uh, me switching Alice to be a noir detective. That's not what I meant, and you know it. But I know for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. Some of the words are stretching too much. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. It's fun. Hey, have you tried? Easy for voice? you to say that. I don't remember you if just, I have. You should just. I feel like I did it something in Grade Ace Turning. You should. You should do Dio and Noir. I think the closest I think you got was Many Memo. I I thought I was kind of got there with also. Uh, the magician that was like Waluigi. The jury dude. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. <clears throat> what? Am I such a horrible person for you for wanting to get out of here? I have to get out of here. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. I want to eat tons of delicious food and fall in love. What an idiot. Excuse me? I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Uh, look, let me try this again. I'm frustrated. But there really is something important I have to do. That's what, that's what it was. Which is? That's when she came. Avenge my father's murder. That's what I have to do. What happened to him? Could you elaborate on that? No, I couldn't. This... This isn't the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. Fine. Just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped here? I have no idea. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Meaning? I was on the trail. <laughs> I think this is where he started trail. it before. Yeah, this was where I started it. I was on the trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. <laughs> how, how close were you? I can't say. But it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Are you a detective? Well, I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. Not a bad guess, though. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Well, uh, I mean, you don't really have the detective look. Mm. I didn't say I was a detective. Then what are you? CIA? No. Fine, well, whatever you are, you don't look like one. 
kind of rude. <laughs> That's fine. It's in my line in my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. I'm about to keep on guessing. Hey, what's the deal with you, Clover? What she got any? What she has to do with anything? Well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you're related or working together or something. No. She has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. Where somewhere? The middle of a desert. A desert? Yes. But that's an awfully long story. Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? It doesn't seem fair to me. But you guys give you give a little personal information too. We'll start with you, Tamiyoji. Who are you? Just a garbage collector. Any ties to zero? None. What's your relationship with Quark? Uh, you two know each other, right? Uh, don't have to answer that. Well, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. Oh. And I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. I see. Very well, then. Dio, it's your turn. What's your profession? I'm a cult leader. Well, you're probably thinking I'm full of shit, but... I'm a circus ringleader. A ringleader? You're kidding. Nope. I'm the real deal. I lead a company of about 50 people. I travel all over the world. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but... My father died at a young age. A fifth generation ringleader. My old man was a trapeze artist. He tried to do this quadruple flip and missed. Well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40, still. He was pretty reckless for a guy that age. Always talking about how he couldn't let the kid show up. I guess he just took it too far. I see. You lost your father too, then? Yeah. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think a lot of it is actually true. He's a clone. He doesn't have a father. Well, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying if you, like, if you, if you <laughs> interpret what, like, what he was saying, like, a lot of it kind of sounded true. You, you, you can call what he does a circus ringleader, that he leads a... <laughs> yeah, like, how many Myrmidons were, are there? They never say. Oh, I thought that they did. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> shit, guess I got a little sappy there. Anyway, point is, I don't have any damn idea how I'm connected to Zero. I got grabbed the last night of one of our tour stops. I got out to a couple bars and got a shit faced. On my way back to the ca caravans, black van pulls up. Someone grabs me and throws me inside. Or I can get a good look at him. They hit me with that gas and I'm out like a light. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AB room. Anyway, enough about me. You still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Who are you? I told you guys the first time we met. Don't you remember? I was on my way home from school, and when I got into my car, this white gas started pouring out of everywhere. Are you some kind of doctor? Huh? No, I'm still working on my degree. I'm shooting for a PhD, but I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I guess you've been working on that for a while, huh? Yeah, I guess I have. Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? Believe me, I thought about it, but I just keep drawing a blank. What about Zero? No idea. 
Do any of the people here look familiar to you? Nope. They're all strangers. Well, I guess I can't really say for sure about Kay, since I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possible he's someone I know. Just who is he, anyway? Till the amnesia clears up, I don't think we've got any way of knowing. Oh, come on! You know he's full of shit. You still don't believe him? Of course not. Okay, well, Kay's a bit of a mystery, but what about some of the others? Clover, for instance. What does she do? I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. Hmm. What about Quark? Well, I guess he probably doesn't really have a job, huh? He's still in elementary school, right? Heh. <laughs> Why's that funny? It's nothing. Just forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Boy, his age would be in elementary school. You don't really know much, do you? About Quark, I mean. Is it lagging a lot on your end? A little bit, but it should be fine. It makes you feel better, sure. I'm also trying to let the lines go all the way out. Uh, so with the lag, that's why it sounds a little bit worse than it is. I just don't want to... Um, Sometimes I start reading the lines too quickly, and then I get the entire reading wrong. I don't know. I'll I'll just start reading them as I can see them. I'll tell you. Well, I know a little about Luna. Yeah, we're talking. We were in the infirmary. She said she's got some sort of medical license or something. She's a nurse. It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know. She didn't say. Just going by how she looks, though. I'd guess a nurse. That leaves us with Fi. She's the most mysterious to me. What does a girl like that do? You've been around her the most, Sigma. She told, told you anything? Look, I just don't know, all right? It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you. And some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. No, nothing in particular. Are you sure? Yeah. There's a real mystery, all right. I honestly know about as much as you do. So, basically nothing. I hadn't really realized it until I said it. I spent hours with Fi, and yet I knew nothing about her except her name, and I only had her word that even that was the truth. Who was she really? The more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. A fake detective, a waitress, a garbage collector, an elementary school kid, a nurse, and a circus ringleader walk into a bar. Plus two total mysteries. What do we all have in common? I don't think Zero would just grab a bunch of people randomly. Suddenly. There you are! You have to come with me! What's wrong? We found something really bad in the crew quarters. Something... bad? Just hurry! Really? It'll make sense when you see it. What? No, uh, something bad, and then just like I made Scooby Doo come out of nowhere and just say really because nobody said really. Oh, I, I, I was wondering if the joke was gonna be it's Alice's body. Uh, maybe <laughs> is it Alice's body? I mean, we're in the room with Alice <laughs> just you now. <laughs> we get there, she really quickly moves into place and lies limp. Oh no, she's dead. <laughs> and then she stands back up and like. 
smears the grape jam off of her top and it's like, who killed her? <laughs> no, I, I just more mean like that. Like, she just realized, oh crap, she's late for her, her cue. Oh yeah, she, <laughs> it's just, she missed her cue. <laughs> Cork is first into the room, followed quickly by me, Alice, Tenmyo, and Dio. He said nothing, just pointed under the bed. The four of us crouched down and followed his finger. There it was. A bomb! What the hell is this? A, a bomb! At least, that's what Mr. K said. A bomb? No, no way. So... Thank you, Sigma. Boom. Goodbye. Of course. It was the same bomb I'd seen in my vision. Then it hadn't been a hallucination. Had it actually been a premonition? A deadly premonition. I need to get everybody else in here now. No, it's okay. Mr. K's already getting them. They should be here really soon. Clap, 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 clap. Shop, shop, shop. See? Where is it? You said there was a bomb. Quark had barely closed his mouth and the rest of her fellow captors exploded into the room. Maybe exploded isn't the right word we're using right now. <laughs> Yikes, uh... Kay gently shouldered them aside and pointed to the bomb. There it is. You see? For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly we began to eye one another. Old suspicion suddenly reawakened. Miss Fives finally broke the silence. It doesn't look like it has a time detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. We'll probably use an active button or switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. Who is that? Who is the first person to find this? It was me. I found it while Quark and I were investigating this area. We split up to collect the rest of you. How did you know it was a bomb? I have seen it before. When? I'm not sure. Because of the amni. Because of the amnesia. That's offensive, five, but yes. Are you kidding me? We don't even know if it's a real bomb. I'm glad you caught that I was trying to be five being offensive. Are you gonna tell me you believe that guy who can't remember his own fucking name knows a bomb when he sees it? No. Kay's right. That's a bomb. I'm sure of it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure... You sounded pretty sure about the Switch, too. I was just being offensive <laughs> and mimicking everybody's accent. How do you know all this? Oh, it's so not she's being the offensive one. <laughs> How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an um, occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. Antimatter. What?
Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh, what's Annie Hill Nation? Ha! Huh. I really thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. You do know that what that means, right? Yeah. Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary p particle, one of the smallest bits of matter. But I don't really know anything else. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Hmm, let me think. I don't know, it's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. You want me to do it? Yes, please. If I nod in, turn to Quark. This is Phoenix Wright music. No, it's not, but okay. Uh, no, I'm saying, like, it sounds like it, doesn't it? I guess. This was in, I think, both the games. I think this was in the first game, too. Maybe I said this about the last game, too, then. Because this feels like, like when you're learning some, like, uh, information, someone's information. <laughs> 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 okay. To begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles. There's also these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. So protons have antiprotons and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that can covers all the antiparticles. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that it's because the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they sort of cancel each other out. When they cancel each other out, uh, it releases a whole bunch of energy. That process is called annihilation. So an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Um, sorry. I don't really get it. <laughs> uh, oh. Alright, how about this? You got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposite. What happens when you put them together? Um. Well, if they were um, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... I know! A baby! A baby! Exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. It's not a real baby, of course, but... Like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. But you followed it through, right? Though... Follow it though, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Just how big of a, uh, how big of an explosion are we going to get here? Mm, it's pretty simple. Just use Einstein's e equals mt squared. The mass loss during annihilation will be converted to energy, so. 
So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. That would get you the amount of energy. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. That would mean there's also would be 350 grams of matter, right? So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. 63 trillion joules? That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. What the? You gotta be kidding me! So there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. Don't get so excited. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using an anti-hydrogen. There should be about 25 micrograms of material in there. Good, good catch on what UG is stands that, for. I believe it's micrograms. Micro or is it pica? pica no, pica I think it's like a PG. I think UG is micrograms. Just that I would have not pulled that up that quickly in my mind. Oh, I'm, I am a, a scientist. Well, you're also Luna. Oh, I, had to, I just had to look it up to verify because I don't believe you. <laughs> it's supposed to mean. <laughs> that you're untrustworthy. That's less than a thousand of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? Oh, is that all? What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. A ton? Yes, well, approximately. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a 10 story building. True, but it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. You don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps, but... How do we know this is the only bomb? <laughs> what do you mean? Look at it carefully. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna it's, say... It's got a number three, do you see it? Have you heard that joke about, like, a prank to a senior prank that was, uh, releasing three pigs into their high school? And the pigs were numbered one, two, and four? Uh, so oh yeah, the pig, yeah. What's at the pigs? It was like try to find the third pig. <laughs> oh man, what fun goof would it be if they did that with the bombs? And it's like one, uh, two, three. I don't think you should be. Five, I don't think you should be joking about that. Four. Uh, it'd be so <laughs> funny. It was just, or or there's literally just one bomb. It's just the one, but to put a three just to throw everyone off. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. If the bombs are numbered, then there could be a number two bomb or a number one bomb out there, huh? Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb either. There could be a fourth or a fifth or... But knowing this game, there's probably going to be nine. <laughs> anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. How Dio smuggled nine bombs? D I don't know. Dio step forward and reach for the bomb. No! Don't touch it! Alice grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bad. What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Well then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now. So we can find the detonator and figure out how to turn it off. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore this incredibly deadly bomb that is probably going to kill us all? 
there's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. So we just need to get this password. Yes, that's right. But there's no keyboard or anything in the bomb. Look again. You see it? Right here. Port. Oh, it's USB. Cool. <laughs> We can find the password input device which is connected here. Then we can enter the password. Oh, nice, Shady. <clears throat> Who would do something like this? I have no idea. But we can figure out when they did it. Oh, yeah? When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we left. After we left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were, we were all there. And after that, we've all been around other people. There's no way anyone could have snuck off to plant it. I don't know about that. After we finished the AB game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... What do you mean? Oh yeah! You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. Hmm... Yeah... Anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. You know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? Huh. Well, I was, uh, just kind of deep in thought, I guess. I stayed behind in the warehouse when you guys went off. I had to go over my backstory. <laughs> hey, why are you guys giving me that look? You don't think I planted it, do you? I never said that. Not out loud, you didn't. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know anything about this bomb. Really? Are you sure? Back when we were in the AB room, so you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. That was, um, just a... I could hardly say premonition. If they didn't think it was the worst lie on the planet, they'd think I was insane. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. According to Tenmyoji, any one of us could have been in here. Why am I the only one who's under suspicion? Also, also, there's no way to know the culprit here is actually one of us. Maybe there's someone else in here, and they set up the... Impossible. Why? There's no way that we could get past zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the game going forward. Um... What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, let's refer to the real Zero, or the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior. Which would, of course, make the... AI Zero Junior. Okay. Fine with me. Anyway, I'm sure when it is, they're not gonna let a tenth person in. There's no way. What if the tenth person is Zero Senior? I don't think it could be. Why not? Well, Zero Junior said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. Couldn't that be a lie? <laughs> Fine, Clover, right. There couldn't be a tenth guest. 
and Zero Senior was without a doubt one of us. But if that was the case, then could Zero Senior have planted the bomb? If not, then who had? Alice? Dio? Luna? Kay? Clover? Tenmyoji? Phi? Or... Seemed insane, but could it have been Quark? No. Why would Zero Senior have gone to all the trouble of setting a bomb? To make this game more exciting? To make it seem more dangerous? No. It didn't fit at all. If that was the case, then the person who planted the bomb was someone other than Zero Senior. Oh, oh no! This is bad. What is it? Press the buttons on your bracelet. Aw oh, shit. Is this for real? You've only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open. Let's go then. You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until later. Alright, come on everybody. Oh wow, it didn't even let me st dialogue stop. That skipped so fast. Uh-uh. Yeah, 